In the conflicts I covered as a reporter, in Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and the Balkans, I encountered singular individuals of varying creeds, religions, races, and nationalities who majestically rose up to defy the oppressor on behalf of the oppressed. These individuals, despite their vast cultural differences, had common traits. A profound commitment to the truth, incorruptibility, courage, a distrust of power, a hatred of violence, and a deep empathy that was extended to people who were different from them, even the people defined by the dominant culture as the enemy. And then there are those ordinary people who risk their lives in wartime to shelter and protect those of an opposing religion or ethnicity being persecuted and hunted. To resist radical evil is to endure a life that by the standards of the wider society is a failure. It is to defy injustice at the cost of your career, your reputation, your financial solvency, and at times, your life. You do not become a dissident just because you decide one day to take up this most unusual career. You are thrown into it by your personal sense of responsibility, combined with a complex set of external circumstances. You were cast out of the existing structures and placed in a position of conflict with them. The dissident does not operate in the realm of genuine power at all. He or she has no desire for office and does not gather votes. He or she does not attempt to charm the public. He or she can offer, if anything, only their own skin and they offer it solely because they have no other way of affirming the truth they stand for. Their actions simply articulate their dignity as a citizen, regardless of the cost. Empathy becomes in all despotisms a subversive act. To act on this empathy the empathy for families terrorized by our war machine in Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, and Somalia. The empathy for undocumented mothers and fathers being torn from their children on the streets of our cities. The empathy for Muslims who are demonized and banned from our shores, fleeing the wars we created. the empathy for poor people of color gunned down by police in our streets and locked in cages, the empathy for girls and women trafficked into prostitution, the empathy for the earth that gives us life and is being contaminated and poisoned for profit. The most difficult existential dilemma we face is to at once acknowledge the bleakness before us and act. Accept sorrow, for who cannot be profoundly sorrowful at the state of our nation, the world, and the planet? But know that in resistance, there is a balm that leads to wisdom and if not joy, a strange, transcendent happiness. The powerlessness of kindness, of senseless kindness, is the secret of its immortality. It can never be conquered. 
This dumb, blind love is humankind's meaning. We will find our own freedom, our autonomy, our meaning among those who also resist. And this will allow us to endure and maybe even triumph. <laughs>